isn't that what is really happening today, both in Europe and perhaps in other parts of the world, this very intense clash between ostensibly secular and ostensibly religious worldviews? Yes. I, uh, I would not call uh, what is happening now the Dark Ages. There are also some people say that it is a repeat of the 1930s in Europe. Um, it's not true. Uh, because uh, Europe is in a different place. Uh, the Jewish people are in a totally different place. The, today there's the state of Israel. It used to be that when Jews wanted to leave, wanted to flee Europe, they had nowhere to go. Most countries were close to them. But many uh, Jews, uh, Jews are leaving Europe. Many Jews are leaving France, for example, for uh, Great Britain. Right, as right. So, but uh, something uh, I said yesterday on Israeli radio, I'm going to repeat this now. When, you sp when I speak to people from Paris, for example, who decided to emigrate, whether to Israel or to London or to Montreal, mm -hmm. and ask them, why are you emigrating? And the answer I'm getting is, I don't see a future for our children here. When people left in the 1930s Europe, they didn't emigrate because they didn't see a future for their children. They did not see a future for themselves. Mm -hmm. So it is different. Now, coming back to your uh, question of the clash between the secular post-Christian Europe, and the new uh, immigration wave, which is essentially religious. Yes, this is what, exactly what is happening. There is a clash of civilizations. And uh, we, the Jews, we are in the middle of this clash of civilizations. On one side is what happened in Paris and Brussels, and uh, is, uh, that children who walk with the kippah in the mm -hmm. streets in Paris are being attacked. On the other side, what we have, we have the counteraction of old Europe. We have the laws against uh, limiting religious freedom in Switzerland against the minorites, mm -hmm. in France against the burqa, mm -hmm. uh, the attempted law in Germany against circumcision, the attempted law in Holland and in Poland against uh, halal or kosher meat. So this is the reaction of, uh, of old Europe against uh, this new wave of religious expression. So essentially what you're saying is that in these both you're together with uh, both Muslims uh, yes, yes, yes. and people of other and, nations. And uh, we see ourselves together, f fighting together with uh, our Muslim brothers who, are, who want a free Europe, who want a peaceful Europe, who want to uh, integrate like our forefathers integrated in Western Europe 120 years ago, and they are our natural allies. Ein Ben David Baad, she tipol Edom, a mezal zelim be Israel. Ce que je vous ai dit tout à l'heure, c'est marqué dans Sanhedrin. Le machir viendra que quand Edom, l'Europe, la chrétienté sera totalement tombée. Donc je vous pose la question. C'est une bonne nouvelle que l'islam envahisse l'Europe? C'est une excellente nouvelle. Ça annonce l'avenue de machir. Excellente nouvelle.
Isaiah 19. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. And the waters shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. And they shall turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds and flags shall wither, the paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. The fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weed networks, shall be confounded. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof, all that make sluices and ponds for fish. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings? Where are they? Where are thy wise men? And let them tell thee now, and let them know what the Lord of hosts hath purposed upon Egypt. The princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of Noph are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt, even they that are the stay of the tribes thereof. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush, may do. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear, because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Every one that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan, and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a Savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day, and shall do sacrifice and oblation, yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord, and perform it. And the Lord shall smite Egypt. He shall smite and heal it.
avance. Vas-y, avance. Avance, avance, c'est pas grave, avance. 2 Thessalonians 2 Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Matthew 24 And Jesus went out, and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him, for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same, shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Jeremiah 51 Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Against him that bendeth let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, 
and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God of the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain, if so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come, and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his devices against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes, for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. The Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men, as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. He hath made the earth by his power, he hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heaven by his understanding. enfants de la patrie, aux armes citoyens, entendez-vous dans les campagnes mugir ces féroces soldats, ils ne passeront pas. Verily I say unto you, It shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved.